at first the film made me feel really angry, um, but then towards the end, like, I felt triumphant. It took me into the heart of it, something, you know, in the sense I read about it, but actually you, you had a sense of what, what the protesters went through. You know, you actually felt their pain, um, which you don't get through just, I don't know, reading books. You kind of like think so much in theoretic ways, but it's, it's all about doing things and it's, it's all about, yeah, being active. Even though you know so many theories and so many options, um, you, can, you can use these options if you just act. I think it's a powerful film in itself, in the reaction that it has on an audience, but it's also about power and it's about the balance of power for everybody involved and um, how that sort of shifted and is still shifting. I think you can definitely draw a parallel between Selma and what's going on in Ferguson at the moment. Um, the use of non-violent protest in the uh, don't shoot in Ferguson definitely chimes with what we see in Selma. There's lots of prejudice at the moment with all the Islamophobia and the um, you know, uh, against Jewish people as well, you know, it's still going on today. So yeah, there's still a lot we can learn about it, how we treat each other and how we respect each other really.